Hello, beautiful butterflies. I am here uh, to share more meaning, uh, deeper symbolism, and some thoughts around this piece that is called the chrysalis. One of 12 pieces that I gathered together into a Soma show that are part of this era that we're in. This is the first piece that was created. Um, it's the namesake, the chrysalis, and this is one of two that were um, manifested before the whole COVID experience. And this is the oldest as well. This piece I created maybe two years ago, and it went um, with me to Burning Man two years ago. And it was uh, that theme that year was called Metamorphosis Transformation. And so I think we'll go over some of the symbolism that's specific to this piece, but knowing that with art and with music and with sacred geometry, the more you can look into it and do a deep dive, the more effect it is going to have on your life. And this is the reason that so many cultures have the same symbols, have the same um, patterns because these things and that's why we call them sacred they resonate uh, we have these patterns inside us we can use these things as metaphor to bring more meaning to our life and more health and healing so this piece called the chrysalis um, like the show did go to Burning Man which uh, is a chrysalis there's about 70 or 80 thousand people that gather together in not in a shell but in the wide open um, elements and it's a place where you go in not knowing uh, even with your best planning what to expect so the very the very entry uh, kind of you know is full of intrigue it's in full of anxiety it's full of uh, having to trust yourself kind of bolstering your systems very much like the caterpillar has to do when it creates for reasons it doesn't even know a chrysalis the um, so physically the the symbols in this piece are all about that transformation you have a caterpillar uh, that comes from an egg which is a symbol of new life um, anytime you see an egg Easter uh, Mary Magdalene's red egg th these are all you know spontaneous belief renewal um, creation the egg is always a symbol of that so in this piece you'll see the eggs around the perimeter and then you'll have the pupa and the, the or the caterpillar first which um, and then the pupa and then the butterfly and in the chrysalis I put a human um, sim symbolizing this time specifically uh, that I guess I call the COVID era but also a place that we can return to always just with breath just with closing our eyes realizing that we are the ultimate creator so uh, the chrysalis or cocoon as a noun is um, the object that the caterpillar makes around themselves uh, sometimes spinning this uh, silk um, creating this enclosure this sheath where it turns into a pupa it liquefies and then emerges as a butterfly and the word itself is derived from Greek, um, chrysos meaning gold, so known as this golden sheath, this place where um, transformation, the veil is thin, things can happen. And figuratively, of course, a chrysalis means any state of protected early development, a place where uh, a being can be in transition and transformation. So for me, um, a chrysalis is a holy container uh, and I, I feel them and see them and am one and it can be a day a space a time um, that we create and we enter with purpose and intention and within it kind of the laws of the universe are suspended and and this is where this dramatic change can occur um, we let go and we have the potential of letting go with what we don't agree with anymore and we can keep the parts that we do agree with and acknowledge them and agree to them again. So this is a morphing process. And we have this beautiful example of the caterpillar 
um, transforming. So a caterpillar is born from an egg and you know the physical things that we watch, the sciences, uh, it, it is this little creature and it has basic desires. It's hungry and so it eats and it grows and it eats and it grows and eventually um, with the signaling, signaling of hormones this hunger stops and she might seek a branch or a twig or burrow into the ground um, depending on the species and then often hanging precariously like we're watching right now um, into the void and they just know without ever having done it before I'm going to spin something around me or I'm going to wiggle out of this shell that isn't comfortable anymore and I don't know why but there's a longing so the metaphor behind this would be from my perspective, the way I see it is that we are born and we absorb. We are, um, as children, we are sponges. We are programmed by our surroundings. We have experiences and we're hungry, literally hungry for knowledge, for food and um, for play. And then there might come a time where this consuming takes over life, where we want more things and more experiences. and it's a very external experience of absorbing and then one day things might crop up or something might come along or we pay attention to this longing just like the, the caterpillar does and we enter a space whether it's a, um, a healing circle or uh, turning over new habits or leaving a relationship or diving into something that we've always been uh, drawn to or maybe getting back into something that's healthy for us and we enter this space and we need to release everything and we don't know what's going to happen but inside the chrysalis uh, the caterpillar's body liquefies and it becomes completely uncaterpillar like and it reassembles into this new form and it doesn't even have a mouth anymore it has I forgot what it's called the the thing that just um, wants to absorb nectar and it has long wings and it's it's called metamorphosis so our metamorphosis would be um, so it could be something like Burning Man it could be something like you know an accident it could be meditation it could be a gathering any of these things where we come out we allow ourselves to be transformed um, scientists have found, and I'm going to post uh, a beautiful radio lab, this podcast was absolutely amazing, um, on the science of what happens inside, but they can find butterfly parts, organs, precursors in a caterpillar, and then in the chrysalis they can actually find cells that remain in this goo, everything turns into a goo, but there are some cells that remain from a caterpillar and they've also found that some habits and reactions and stimulations and sensory um, habits that were formed as a caterpillar carry over into a butterfly so this winged incarnation actually remembered some of its life before even though it was completely liquefied and reassembled so this as metaphor uh, it's literal and metaphorical um, is kind of what I what I feel we can do with purpose as we go into these different states and are letting go of the many things that we no longer agree to and don't work for my, with us and then there are many things that we look at and do agree with still and do want to take with us so this isn't necessarily as dramatic as a butterfly although it can be um, but we can go into these states at any time and sleep of course is one of the most beautiful um, times that we can we can let go and take on so I will um, I'll put the science of all that in the notes so this COVID experience um, I do feel is and was and is we are still in it we are um, to some degree depending on each one of us and where we are in any given day very much still in the chrysalis um, this has been I know for me a time to continue to dissolve ego um, to disassemble walls 
to realize the triggers that bother me are still things that I was programmed with and that I actually don't agree with anymore um, at all. So it's also been a time to create um, some of these things for myself and for all of us and to put that out there into the energy of, of uh, our world. And although it's a volatile state, we all are, everyone on earth is, is in it together. So it's, I think, one of the very rare instances um, where we're all at least on one level in the same chrysalis, regardless of, or I should say irregardless of our class or our country. Um, and it is our time where instead of just utilizing our external experience, we can turn in and, um, and really assess and, and make for some lasting change and transformation. And we don't know yet. Uh, we can trust ourselves. We know that we don't know yet when we can fully emerge. And that is the trust that the caterpillar goes in with. They have no idea what's on the other side. They don't think the way we do, this overanalyzing all the time. So with this piece, what it helps me do is realize that with trust, without overanalyzing, without the constant thinking, but paying attention to the longing, paying attention to um, the lightness of the butterfly, we do want to be free. We want to be light. And that is often worry. That's often responsibility. And most of that, of course, is mental. So it's um, a bright darkness in the chrysalis. It can be very uncomfortable. And this piece encourages me and hopefully you, when you look at it, to realize that we do have the courage to go through this together and most importantly, internally. So thank you for being with me and have a, um, as much growth as possible, of course, during this time and notice all the chrysalis around you and honor the container that you are uh, for creativity and change and that power within you.